Alright, what's good people? 12th Man back again, giving you guys another gameplay commentary. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. According to a few sources, we're only three weeks away from the Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal at Gamescom 2014. That will most likely be my decision on whether or not I'm getting Advanced Warfare on day one because I don't want to buy a game that is trash because I didn't buy Ghost because the game looked like trash. But hopefully Advanced Warfare is good. I do have some hope for it. Um, I'm not really going to talk about Advanced Warfare that much in this vid, however, because I can, I'll can i save that for a whole other commentary. Also keep in mind that um, I'm recording this video on Friday. So, and this is like one of like seven videos that I've recorded today because, um, you know, I'm just trying to get into a grind. I got... The Destiny Beta Let's Play all finished up. I got two live comms of Destiny's multiplayer. I also started on the Sonic 2 Let's Play as well as the um, MLB The Show Let's Play. So I hope you guys are enjoy the Let's Plays that are coming out and all the latest commentaries that are coming out. But let's get into the topic at hand. So I know a lot of you gamers out there are thinking the same as I am. If you have, if you haven't been catching up with the gaming news in the past few days, weeks, months, in a year. Um, you're probably gonna agree with what I gotta say in this video. Basically, 2014 is nothing but a year of delays, HD remax and remakes, and cross-generation games. Now, let's talk about delays first. Now, I understand that delays are part of the um, gaming industry. I know people don't want to have like you know broken and rushed products. <coughs> oh, Battlefield 4, but um. It's starting to become a trend, a really absurd and annoying trend that's kind of pissing a lot of people off, including myself. There are a lot of games that were announced back in like last year, back in like 2012, that were rumored for next gen and even last gen consoles that we still haven't gotten yet because they've been delayed. For an example, one of the highest anticipated games that I was highly excited for was um, The Division by Ubisoft. Um, I'm pretty sure the game was supposed to come out when they first announced it back in 2013. I originally thought the game was supposed to come out in 2014. However, um, there was an article that came out saying that they didn't even start it really developing on the game. And the game probably won't even come out till 2015 or maybe even 2016. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it was ridiculous. I mean, I mean, I, there's so many companies out there that are pushing back their games now. Um, Rocksteady is pushing back Arkham Knight. The Witcher 3 is getting pushed back. Dragon Age in Inquisition is getting pushed back. Uh, Battlefield Hardline a few days ago was just announced that it's being delayed till early 2015. And I guess considering the fact that this is EA and DICE, I can kind of understand that because Battlefield 4 should have been delayed, honestly, because that game was a broken mess. So I guess they want to try to avoid that. But yeah, the delays is becoming a trend now, um, along with the other two I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And it kind of sucks. Um, another two games that have been delayed, um, pro probably, I don't even know if they've even been really announced. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3, and of course the new Final Fantasy game, uh, Square Enix. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Square Enix um, later on in the video, but yeah, delays it is crazy this year. Another trend in the gaming industry, especially in this generation of consoles, are high-definition remakes. There have been a lot of high-definition remakes since, like, for the past, like, year or so, especially um, by the end of 2013. Now, going back to Square Enix, they're famous for doing it, like, instead of actually making new games that people are actually excited for, instead they just resolve to making ports and remakes. For an example, Kingdom Hearts 3, one of the games that I'm personally very interested in playing. Instead, they're re-releasing another remake of, I'm pretty sure, Kingdom Hearts 2 for the PS3, which is very, very confusing. Why work on a remake when you can work on the game that people have been waiting for I don't know how long? Because the last real Kingdom Hearts game was back in like 2004 2005 kingdom hearts 2 so there really hasn't been a third game in like almost 10 years however people are starting a lot all the console manufacturers are starting to get on this trend now uh nintendo they've released wind waker hd which is which i guess for me really i'm be somewhat interested in that because i never played wind waker on the gamecube before 
There's also rumors going around saying Super Mario Sunshine is being re-released in HD, which kind of bothers me a little bit because I still own Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube. Um, yeah, Nintendo usually does it sometimes, um, but Sony and Microsoft, Microsoft rarely does it. I know the Master Chief Collection is coming out later on this year for Xbox One. Honestly, the only game in that collection that slightly interests me is, ha that is Halo 2. Uh, I already own Halo 4, and that's a pretty good-looking game, how it is. Um, Halo 3, I already own that game. And I don't own Halo 1, but there's already a remake of that game for the Xbox 360, so I can probably just pay that. I can probably just play that and get it for, like, what, $10 pre-owned or whatnot. But yeah, um, Halo, the Halo collection is something I'm not really interested in. Really, the only remakes I'm really interested in are the Sony remakes. Because I really don't have a problem that much with high-definition remakes, especially when it's Sony. Because, keep in mind, the PS4 is the first um, PlayStation platform I ever owned. So, there are a lot of PlayStation exclusives that I missed out on. Especially growing up. Because growing up, I hated the PlayStation brand. I never cared for the PS2. And I did somewhat like the PS3, but I didn't like it as much as the Xbox 360 because personally, I thought the Xbox 360 was the best console of last generation. But I would love to play a lot of games that were good back in the PS2 and PS3 era and play it on a better console. For an example, The Last of Us. I will be doing a Let's Play on The Last of Us. Um, probably one of the best games of last generation. Never owned a PS3, so I never played it, and I really want to give it. I really want to play it, um, along with Beyond Two Souls. I heard that game really wasn't that good, but I would be most like I would be somewhat interested in playing Beyond Two Souls if it's re-released for PS4. Um, and if I had the money, I would probably buy. I might I might buy a PS3 just to play some of the Sony exclusives I missed out on because. Um, God of War is one exclusive I've never played. Uh, the Jack and Daxter games. Um, the Uncharted games. I mean, there's a lot of games out there that I've really never played. Sony exclusives that I've never played because I never owned a PlayStation console outside of the PS4. But now the other trend is cross-generation games. Now, this basically happens every time a new generation of consoles come out. Um, developers will put a game out for the next-gen consoles, and they'll also put it on the last-gen consoles. A lot of people, a lot of like the hardcore gamers don't like it because it feels it, they feel like it's holding the performance back on the higher performing versions of the game. Take Watch Dogs for an example. Watch Dogs looked amazing in 2012 at E3. It looked like it looked like a freaking masterpiece. But then once the game came out, people were bashing it because it wasn't what it looked like back in 2012. Honestly, I think that's because it was ported to past consoles like the 360, PS3, and Wii U. And, um, you know, Titanfall, I feel like that game could have looked a lot better. There's a lot of games out there I feel like that could look a lot better if they weren't put on last gen. But then again, the last gen consoles have a bigger install base, and that's part of the reason why developers um, stick to those but still put their games out on the higher end consoles. But eventually, I think that whole trend will end by next year. But, um, yeah, that's basically it with this video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. Comment, um, are you pissed off about all these delays, um, remakes, and um, cross-generation games or whatnot? Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And that's about it. I'll catch you guys in the flip. Thanks for watching.